Hi, I'm Danielle with Uptown Drapes and today we're going to show you how you can measure for your own custom drapes and rods. Measuring for drapes is really simple and really easy, but we do have this video so you can know exactly which measurements you will need to do to place your order. These are some items that you will need in order to measure your drapes. A measuring tape, a pencil or a pen, and a paper to sketch out your drapes and to write down your measurements. Before we start measuring, we always like to start out with a simple sketch of your window and your rods. Don't worry, this doesn't need to be professional or anything. This is going to be the best way to keep track of your measurements. Later down the road, you will be required to enter in these numbers when placing your order for your drapes and your rods. After you've made your sketch, you're going to find the inside width of your window. In our case, we're going to have a pair of drapes span across four windows. So, we are going to find the measurement from the far left window all the way to the far right window. Go ahead and write that number down on your sketch paper. Now, you're going to figure out how far you want your rod to stick out from your window. This is gonna be on the left and the right side, and we're gonna call this your rod space measurement. To help you out, we do have some recommended measurements for different window sizes. If your window is 44 inches or less, we do like the rod to stick out about 6 to 10 inches on each side. If your window is between 45 and 96 inches, have the rod stick out 11 to 15 inches. But if your window is more than 96 inches, we suggest having your rod space 16 to 20 inches. In this situation, our inside measurement is 135 inches, so our rod space is gonna be 16 inches on the left and the right side. Once you find that measurement that best suits your window, you're gonna write that down on the left and the right side of your sketch pad. Now we're going to add up those three measurements. That is gonna give you your final rod width. In this case, our rod width is 167 inches. You're actually gonna be using this number when you place your order for your rod. With all of our custom drapes, a three and a half inch return is going to come standard. A return is when the drapery turns the corner at the end of the bracket and attaches to the wall. A beautiful custom drape will always have a return to give you a clean, simple look. When you do receive these drapes, you will notice that we have added by default a three and a half inch return on both the left and the right side of your drapes. Do not worry, you will not have to add this number to your final width. We just need that final measurement that you previously wrote down. Now we can move on and figure out the length of your drapes. Visualize where you're gonna be wanting to place your rod. We suggest placing it about 10 to 12 inches above your window. If you're wanting a little bit more of a dramatic look, you can always go beyond that 10 to 12 inch recommendation. It does create a little bit more height in your space. To start, we're gonna measure from the floor to about where you think that middle of the rod is gonna be. That is gonna be your mid rod measurement. Write that number down. Now, we need to take into consideration where your drapes are gonna be placed on your rod. Our rods always come with a one to one and an eighth inch diameter and our rings are about two inches. Take your mid rod measurement and subtract two inches. That number is gonna give us the finished length of your drapes, which is the number that you will be entering in for your length. Write this measurement down on your sketch paper. This formula works best on any of our rods and rings, as well as any that you may find in a similar size. If you're gonna be ordering a grommet style drape, finding the length is just gonna be a little bit different, but do not worry, it's super easy. Just like before, you're going to take your mid rod measurement, but this time you're gonna add two inches. That number is going to give us the finished length of your drapes, which is the number that you will enter into your length. Write this number down on your sketch paper. Once again, this formula works best on any of our rods and rings or one that you may find in a similar size. Because of the nature of a grommet style drape, the fabric is going to extend two inches above the middle of your rod. You will want to make sure that you don't visualize your rod too close to the ceiling or else your fabric will rub on your ceiling, ruining your drapes. We recommend that you make sure that the middle of your rod is two and a half inches below your ceiling. That way, your fabric won't rub onto the ceiling. 
If you already have an existing rod installed on your wall, the measurements are gonna be a little different. You're going to start from the floor and measure all the way up to the bottom part of your ring. We suggest that you subtract a half an inch from that measurement so your drapes don't rub onto the ground. This is gonna be your finish length measurement. If you have an existing rod, but you're gonna be doing the grommet style drapes, again, it's gonna be a little bit different. Measure from the floor to the middle of your rod, but then you're going to add one and a half inches. This is gonna be your finished length measurement. As you have noticed here with Uptown Drapes, we like to have a clean look and not have our drapes touch the ground, especially if they are operable drapes. When they do touch the floor, they can collect dirt, they can cause snagging, and they actually wear out faster. However, if you are wanting to get that kiss the floor look or even the puddled look, we suggest you just add extra inches to that final length measurement to get your desired look. To review, these are gonna be the final measurements you need to place your order. Inside width measurement, left rod space, right rod space, and finish length. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact us. We want you to feel confident and comfortable with ordering your drapes. Now that you have all of your measurements, it's time to have fun picking out your fabrics and your rods for your order. Once you have ordered your drapes and they have arrived, refer to our next video so that you can learn how to properly install your own drapes.